Bonjour. Thank you for coming to listen to the notorial CID. I am Valkyrie. I have uh, the last few days been in a lot of pain. We have advanced degenerative disc disease, which is advanced arthritis in our bones, in our back. We also have it primarily throughout most of our body. I went about actually getting some stuff done because we have a lot of work that has to be done outside because where we live they come around and look to see what you have done and not have done and they will evict you if you don't have it to their liking so I went out and had to put part of our deck back on that had fallen off during a storm. I did this uh, with some of the help of my daughter. And then afterwards, because I was trying to get things done, um, I had done most of what I could outside because living in South Carolina, it gets very, very hot. And it started to get really, really hot. So I decided to come inside and start to work on the floors because we have floors that need replaced and things of this nature. Doing so, uh, there's no pretty way to put it. We don't have a lot of cushion on our butt. We may be plus sized, but we do not have a lot of cushion on our butt. So most of what has to do with our butt is bone the bone with you know very little cushion in between so when you're doing the floors you're sitting on braces and the braces are wood um of course and they're it's very hard to sit on especially when you already have a you have stream back problems and B, pardon, you also have not a lot of cushion between your arthritic bones and the wood. So having to adjust and move around on the wood causes a lot of pain. Um, it was very painful to do, but I had to do it so I kept going at it and going at it and this is for several hours. This was probably very stupid of me because upon getting done I of course have uh, swelling, uh, discomfort, inflammation. I At the time I didn't really realize that I had arthritis in my in my tush I knew I had it in uh, my back and throughout my spine, my neck. It makes sense that I would have it there too, but I didn't realize. And uh, so the, the swelling makes it, I had to get a donut. I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but an inflatable donut that you set on when you have pain or discomfort in your butt and you can't take the direct pressure of sitting on it. Well, I got that. And it's okay for minimal amounts of time, but don't believe that the donut is going to fix everything for you because it doesn't. I am taking ginger because ginger is a natural anti-inflammatory. Um, because it's not doing good enough, I also have been taking Tylenol. Now, I have a lot of stuff that I have to do because they're going to be coming around to look at outside uh, within the next few days. Well, I have 
today's Saturday, they'll be coming around Wednesday. So I still have to go out and I have to do some painting on the porch. I have to sort out some stuff to do with the porch because I can no afford the lumber to be able to replace it yet. So I've got to sort that out and figure out what to do about that. I also have some trimming that I have to do. And trimming you don't have to sit down, but I also have hold on. I also have a lot of uh, physical issues with this disabled problems. The arthritis on my back, my knees are the major issue with uh, and now it's starting to be my ankles as well if you've had any injuries in the past which I had a lot of ankle injuries when I was younger with spraining where the body did but it's my body now too so it is what it is but um, so the ankles are starting to do this as well we cannot stand for long periods of time we can know if we go out to go into stores we can know do this for long periods of time either if they don't have what i call a zoom zoom which is one of those uh, disabled carts to be able to go through the stores then you got to walk and i can know do for long periods of time and for multiple stores when I get to the point of where my back has decided it's not going to work anymore. It just literally starts to curve and bend over. And we have went to the ground before. Because when your body is going to give out and it says it can't do no more, it's going to give out. There's really not much you can do about it. And it's unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. So I haven't had a lot of time to really be processing or making any kind of videos, which I apologize for, because there has been a lot of pain not being able to set up. I'm setting up right now to do this video, but I tell you what, it's, uh, it's painful. You can probably tell in my face it's painful. There's not a lot that can be done. Uh, we don't care for any kind of uh, getting any kind of pain medication. We've done this in the past and it really doesn't uh, do anything. Um, we're allergic to Percocet, uh, so that doesn't do anything but make us ill. And uh, even over the counter ibuprofens, we don't, we try not to deal with anything that's an NSAID because it can mess up your liver and kidneys and that just causes further issues but it doesn't really matter because ibuprofen makes us dizzy and nauseous so and we can't take that anyway. Tylenol is about the only thing we can go to as well as herbals like I say ginger and things like that. And uh, we've been doing that, but it's not always the answer to be able to help you the way that you would like. It's miserable to have arthritis, and it's definitely miserable to have advanced arthritis. We may have osteo, and I. it still can be debilitating. It's dumbed down a lot by the medical profession, but it should not be because you're in between your bones, any kind of uh, things that have to do with your bones are deteriorating. I understand that RA is extremely, extremely painful and extremely bad. I think any form of arthritis is is really horrible and debilitating coming to our situation obviously if it's going to take you to the ground because you can no walk properly with it then it is 
it's a dangerous situation as well as uh, it can cause further damage to your body because falling constantly and worrying about being able to do things is it's difficult to to live that way so what do we have to do today well regardless of the pain and this, the problems that you have in life you've still got things that you have to do that means that we're going to have to push through it because we do have to still get painting done i've been with for a few days because i was hope that the the bot was feeling better in um, was having less problems but it's obviously going to take longer than a few days and I don't have that luxury so I'm going to have to get uh, painting done today I'm going to have to probably uh, try to get some of the trimming done today and I'm going to have to push sorry I'm going to have to push through the discomfort and I'm going to have to push through the pain and these are things that everybody has to do does it specifically have to do with the ID? No. No. Are there some of us that might be able to do uh, push through the pain better or not have as much pain? Probably but uh, also, you have to take into account with everybody's different uh, personalities and everybody's different uh, levels of what they will and won't do is another problem that you have to take into account. I will do what needs done even if uh, as some of them will know. And, uh, I can withstand uh, probably a higher level of pain, one of the higher levels of, of pain in the body. So it's either I, myself or possibly um, maybe maybe Solora might be able to to do some of it, but uh, we've been somewhat uh, cocoon and uh, co-conscious as they say and um, we're switching out pardon otherwise one of the cats dumped something the uh, for the latest while because there's so many things that have to be we have to be on top of um, with our daughter getting ready to go to college and with uh, everything financially and everything that's going on we've got to be on top of a lot of stuff and this setback that it can't be a setback I can now pause I paused for a day and a half or a few days, a couple of days, in the hopes that it would work itself out, but I can only do for longer than that. And I know that there's probably a lot of people that are in the same circumstance. You live hand to fist, as they say. In other words, you live on a regular daily basis. From one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, and to keep push, you have to keep pushing forward, and you have to keep being on top of everything, or it will be on top of you. And this is our circumstance currently, and we are trying to work around that and trying to get it better, but no luck so far. We still have to get together the money for deciding for the house 
and that's not come to fruition as of yet. So uh, we're still trying to sort that out. Uh, these are all things that uh, is a daily struggle. But uh, the body, the body itself is a constant, constant struggle. There are some days when it's so difficult to just even get off of the bed and to get to the bathroom, things like this, because of the pain and the problems uh, in the back and the legs. And I really feel for anyone who is under these circumstances. And I know that there's worse circumstances, and this is what I tell myself as well, to keep pushing forward, because could it be worse? Absolutely. It could be definitely worse. Everything could be. Is it difficult? Is it hard? It is. So please believe that we are definitely working toward getting uh, videos out. The translations are delayed because of having problems but I will get the translations done as well and uh, appreciate uh, anyone who keeps up with us and we're grateful for that. DID and disability is disability let's put it this way disability is hard period Dissociative identity disorder is hard on its own, but disability, it's, I wouldn't even have to say that linking them together is miserable because on its own, the physical issues are miserable. So, I only, my only suggestion for anybody who is going through the same things that we are, uh, whether it would just be the physical portion or both, would be uh, keep pushing forward. It's all you can do. Try your best to stay positive. You're not always going to be positive. You're going to be down sometimes. You're going to be upset sometimes as human nature. And uh, when you have these issues you don't want to have, you want to be able to push forward and you want to be doing this and doing that and getting things done and you have uh, limitations. Limitations are not fun and especially if you're strong-minded or strong-willed, limitations are not acceptable even if you have them. So just keep trying, that's all you can do. All you can do is keep trying and uh, keep moving forward. There's, uh, in my position, a prayer is good for me because uh, I believe that uh, if you are having all these problems and you pray of faith, having keeping faith is important. Important because it's now a, it's a, now above you. It's a level above you. There are certain things you can't have control over and you can't make better. And the faith within yourself makes you feel better. Whatever makes you feel better, do that. Whatever makes you feel better. Because it's difficult to muster a lot of the time. But, uh, so it is 8.21 name and we've been wake up early in the morning to try to get things done because most everything is uh, with COVID is during the days now. So, and of course sound ordinance when you're doing stuff. So uh, we're going to be out and I think we're going to be missing the rain today because it has been raining a lot in South Carolina. It's another thing that you have to, this is little Seattle at this point, 
and you've got to manage in between the rain to get things done. So that's what we'll be doing for this Saturday and I hope that you enjoy your Saturday. I hope that uh, you enjoy your entire weekend and this is a memorial weekend uh, and I hope that you spend a good time with your families and your friends and I hope that everything is good and happy for you. I will say that uh, we're going to be having uh, this week I plan to have videos made for um, some of the some of the altars you haven't met since I have the ability to help bring them forward I'm going to do that and uh, then uh, should one of our friends uh, film door if you happen to be watching this no I haven't forgotten that you wanted to meet that one altar and I definitely will be trying to take care of that this week so hang in there with us we are trying thank you for coming and sharing our journey with us please like share subscribe hit the notification bell so you're one of the first people to know when we do load a video that way you can be one of the first to watch we greatly appreciate you this has been the notorious did i am valpre and for today i say adios